What does the band name mean? Leontas is a word that we took from the Greek language. Nowadays, it's commonly being used as a name. Uh, however, in the ancient Greek language, it means lion. How do you pronounce it? Cool. So the pronunciation is Leontas. Easy to remember. Lee, as in the boy's name, Lee. On, opposite of off. And tas, as in tassel. Lee on tas. Easy. Leontas. When did the band start? The first time we met with Scott was in late December 2015, if I remember well. How did you meet? How did we meet? Well, we both were auditioning for a band. Um, it was a three or four piece band. Uh, it was in Camden. It was way back, 2015, that kind of time. Um, I was obviously auditioning just to play drums, Alex to play lead or rhythm guitar. We got talking after the kind of audition gig. We decided we didn't really like the band's kind of vibe. Uh, went for a drink in a pub, got chatting, wanted to kick off something and um, yeah, met again for a rehearsal and then went from there really. What do you both play? What do we both play? This is a really interesting question because when we first started playing together, uh, the idea was that I was going to play guitar and sing, obviously, and Scott was going to play drums and sing. Uh, now, what's changed is that currently we're going through this um, phase of a lot of experimentation. Uh, as a result, Scott is now also playing keys with a lot of bass lines just to make my life a little bit easier and um, maybe just maybe I'll start playing some real bass as well tell me what is it like being in a two-piece being in a two-piece is fun there is just two of us Alex is my best friend we do everything together it's just two people kind of against the world it's fun in that respect. It can be difficult sometimes because it is just the two of us. So we have to write everything together. We have to promote everything just between us two. Um, and yeah, it, sometimes we could do with an extra pair of hands loading stuff in. But it means that it is just us two. It's our project. And um, I think we're happy with it just being us two. It's a 50-50 split. If a decision needs to be made, if Alex isn't happy with it, if I'm not happy with it, that's it. We kind of go back to the drawing board. But if one of us are happy, normally the other one is as well, and we just keep going. So I think it's it's different. I've never been in a two-piece band before this. It's normally been three or four people, but I love it. Is it harder or easier in a two-piece? Being in a two-piece is definitely quite challenging. For example, uh, when you're on stage with a four or five piece band, you can rely on, on your rhythm guitarist or your bassist or whatever to do their own thing. And then you can play a solo or interact with the audience, blah, blah, blah. In our case, however, especially because we don't have any backing tracks, it's just the two of us. So for example, in my case, I have to keep track of my singing. I have to keep track of all my effects, my rhythms, my solos, interacting with the audience, um, you know, doing something interesting with Scott. There's just so many elements that honestly make it so much more complicated. But that's exactly what I love about it. You know, you just can't relax for one single second. The second you relax a little bit, that's it. You make a mistake and then trust me, everybody's going to notice it. Um, another thing is that when it comes to expenses, for example, yes, it's a little bit more demanding. It's a little bit more difficult because it's just the two of us. We cannot share any expenses among the four or five of us. Uh, however, when it comes to organizing things like recording or songwriting or booking shows, it's just so much easier. You just pick up the phone, you call your bandmate. Hey man, are you free? Or what do you think of this idea? Yeah, great, let's do it. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's definitely ups and downs, but generally speaking, being in a two-piece is probably the best thing that's ever happened to me.